Hello, it's Magma Rhino, and welcome to week four of my weekly update. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little tired, so I'm not going to be talking very fast. Um, so this week, i uh, mainly going to go over this background and this new interface that I have, which I'm sure you would have noticed by now. The interface is called ADW EX Launcher, and the recent update... I know I did a thing on it before, but the recent update, it got rid of the stupid thing on the side and put a bottom bar, which you can actually get rid of the dock bar if you'd like. Um, but I'm just going to quickly go over that. So, by default, it's five pages, but if you hit the little pencil up here, you can actually swap pages by tapping this button. So this will swap these two pages. It's a little slow, but it's a lot quicker than doing it by hand. So now those two are swapped. You'd swap them back. So that's back to normal. You can set the default screen by tapping the home button. You can delete it by tapping the X down here. Or you can add a page to the left or right of whichever your current one is. And what happened to this page? Hmm. Oh. Alright, that's odd. <laughs> Guess a little glitch or something. But anyway, you could add a page by tapping the plus button. Now there's six pages. And you can delete. So, I mean, that makes it a lot better. There's a lot more you can do now. Uh, there's also a search button up here, which just brings you the default search. There is a backgrounds button, so you can quickly change the wallpaper. Then there is a plus button, so you can add a certain thing to a home screen. Or you could just hold down your finger. Both work. And then here you got your normal settings. You got your settings for ADW, uh, which I'm just going to go through quick. There's presets. Uh, be warned, if you touch one of these and hit OK, it's going to delete all your other options. So if you want to keep what you have now, hit Create and then name it. Uh, user interface, there's a bunch of stuff you can change. You can change the icons, like what the text is, give them backgrounds or whatever. Change the dock, I think you can get rid of it there. Change uh, what you see on the screen, which there's not much you can change here. But you can change like how many columns and rows there are. Uh, hide dock bar or whatever. Change the app drawer with all the apps. Um... <clears throat> Here, you can change your animation, so here you can change how it uh, does it when you move pages, go back and forth. I just did normal scroll. You can do any of these, they all work good. Uh, you can have it uh, scroll or not scroll the wallpaper, I chose don't. You can change how much bounce it has after you go. There's like a billion things you could do for it. And then there's themes, which I actually have a theme on right now called uh, White ADW Theme. So as you may notice, uh, that's my camera icon, and it just overlays it. Does that with a few of them. <sighs> what else? There, the dock bar here. It's scrollable, so it'll it can get as big as you want. You can put folders in it, and I'm just gonna quickly get rid of these. So I'm just gonna throw them all in this folder and then delete the folder. Um. So yeah, you can get folders too, if you just hold down, you can hit add a folder. There's different kinds of folders you can add, of stuff you have, or you just make a new folder and put whatever you want in it. To, to delete anything, you drag it up there. That takes it off. Uh, one thing, here's the app drawer, first of all. I did this 4D scroll, which I think looks pretty cool. Uh, if you want to uninstall something, it's a little tiny, tiny bit more complicated than usual. Uh, it has to be on a... Oh, that won't work with that. Uh, let's see with this. You just put it on the home screen, touch and hold, hit manage. Here you can uninstall it. I would recommend clearing the data, clearing the catch, and then uninstalling it, just to make sure there's nothing left over on your system is actually better than normally uninstalling it, which will leave that on your system sometimes. Also here you can edit it, oops, 
Uh, with these, you can just change the name, which is pretty cool. Uh, with icon thingies, hit edit. You can actually drag it to whatever dimension you want, no matter what the uh, widget is. So, like, this is normally 4x3. You can't change it in the normal launcher. In this one, you can. You can make it whatever you want. It does distort a little. I'll show you quick. So if I make it taller, it's going to, obviously, it's going to have to distort it, or you could shrink it. But it's still a good feature to have, because you can double the size of something if it's too small, or cut it in half, or anything like that. Let's see, okay. Uh, I'll just show you in portrait what it looks like real quick. So, I mean, it's still smooth going from page to page and everything seems to resize nicely pretty similar to the stock launcher and the camera battery is going to die so if it cuts out I'm um, sorry it's not my fault <laughs> alright I'm going to just hurry up this up now anyway you can also like change this slider thing you can basically change anything you want with this user interface and it's amazing I love it uh, unless the 4.0 Android update has a better home screen, I'm probably going to stick with this forever. Because it's that good. Uh, now, for the wallpaper. This wallpaper, uh, you can get it for free after you buy the... I think it's called Beautiful Widgets. Something like that. Oops. It's, uh, there's two live wallpapers. Yeah, it is called Beautiful, beautiful Weather or whatever. Uh, you have to have the like the three or four dollar application to get the backgrounds but then they're free add-ons this one on the left is meant for smartphones so everything's gonna be bigger uh, with this one you can get your own personal background so you can put your own picture as the whatchamacallit yeah a custom background you can put grass but it just it makes it lag more and it uses more battery the way it is, no matter what the weather is, it doesn't lag. But this is awesome. I'll just show you that one quick. Which is, this is the one I'm using. But this is, like, ridiculously cool. Because if it's raining, it's going to show it clouds moving across the screen raining. If it's cloudy, it'll just show clouds. It shows the sun's position. Right now it's 240, so it's a little bit past the middle of the sky. Uh, thunderstorm. I saw a thunderstorm once and that looked really cool. I can't wait to see a snowstorm or a blizzard. Like, it's just a crazy cool wallpaper and it doesn't use much battery. Like, if I. Oh, I just charged it. But. Anyway, I left it on, checked here, and there was no uh, thingy for the live wallpaper, which meant it used less than 2% of the battery, which is a good thing. Um, and there's a few settings you change with that, but I'm just going to warn you, if you use this without the ADW launcher, it's going to make your changing screens lag quite a bit. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go back to that default, whatchamacallit, the default launcher. In case you didn't know how to do this, if you set a uh, always use this option for an app, you go to the app and manage and you hit clear defaults. So now when you hit the home button, it asks you. So I'll just go to the launcher. I haven't used this in a while. But yeah, as you can see, it's quite laggy. There's a little better. Ah, right. Um, also, crazy cool thing with this. Not cool, but it's good. When you're moving apps around, they trace your finger almost perfectly. Even on the screen, which is full of apps, it's sticking close to my finger. Um, on the stock launcher, you'd know that even if the page was empty, it would be lagging far behind. Um, anyway, I'm pretty sure that's just about it for this episode. New apps that I got that I like. Sprinkle, Stando, Food, something like that. Three. That one was like just released two days ago. It's a lot of fun. I got the satellite AR app because, in case you didn't know, there's a satellite falling out of orbit. And that actually makes it so you can, like, find it in the sky. Um, other than that, Soundhound, I've used that. If there's, like, a song playing on the radio, you open that up. 
and you hit this button and it'll tell you what song's playing and it only takes like a five second sample and it gets it right every time it's crazy cool um, well that's pretty much it for now uh, if you'd like to see me review something view an app uh, try something new on my transformer just let me know and I'll try my best to get it in also probably in a week or two I'm gonna be doing a ridiculously detailed re-review of the transformer that'll probably be like a half hour 45 minute video uh, I'm gonna get a big list of pros and cons and just start going through them one by one so that should be pretty good um, also if you haven't seen the last episode I'm gonna put a little annotation right here about um, and then you can go back and watch it Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da. that's pretty much it <laughs> so thanks for watching and if you would like to get instant news on my or your transformer on updates and new apps that work really well with it please subscribe helps me out a lot also give it a thumbs up and thanks again for watching see ya